All right, hello everybody. I'm playing Besiege here, and I'm going to show you how to bake, or not bake, make a simple catapult. It's going to be pretty small, pretty compact, nothing too special. It'll only be able to launch from about here to this wall, and that's actually hitting directly to the wall. It's not going to be able to arc over. Just a simple design to kind of show you how the game works, and to be able to build off of that idea for yourself and make your own contraptions. Uh, so what you're going to start off with is two beams facing this way and one going this way uh, to kind of create a five length beam then place two blocks not on top here uh, two blocks on each side on either side like that and then make like a pitchfork kind of shape on both ends like this and that's already the base complete the skeleton base uh, what you should do is now brace the entire thing just to make sure that it has an extra bit of stability and it'll be harder to break I like to do it on both the top and the bottom I just feel like it's sturdier that way and safer uh, it'll be harder for it to break when you're traveling over terrain uh, now you can do braces on these sides as well you don't have to but I'm just gonna do it anyway because why not uh, now if you want to actually drive it around you're going to go into the powered section and click the steering and attach those onto these metal plates here. You can attach them up front, but I mean, you can. I just prefer them here, uh, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to attach the wheels. And to make the mechanism actually drive left and right, uh, you're going to have to change the way the steering's spin. Uh, so if you hover over them and you click F, you can change the direction that they rotated. And what you're going to want to do is make them spin the opposite way the wheels spin. And you're only going to do this on one side. So on this right side, you're going to make sure these two wheels spin in opposite directions to the steering. On this side, you're going to make it so that they spin in the same direction. And that's going to allow you to actually turn left and right. So if we set this on the ground, play, you'll see that you're able to turn left. You can go back turn right so it is entirely maneuverable you can smash through trees and that's already the base complete now we're just going to actually have to build the catapult arm which is also pretty simple you just attach one small wooden block in the center here and attach a hinge to the top if you don't know what the hinge does it just sways back and forth like this it allows movement uh, which we'll use for the catapult arm uh, now you're going to attach another small wooden block on top of here and build two towards the area you're shooting. This will be where the contractible springs are and three backwards and that's where you're going to hold the bomb and it'll be shooting this way. Uh, the reason you make this longer is just so that you get a bigger arc so you can shoot it further. Uh, now to make it a bit sturdier, just brace the entire thing. You don't have to, it'll, it should work without the braces, but it'll work a lot better if you do actually brace it. So next you're going to go into weaponry, attach the holder to the end here, then go back to powered, get contractible springs, and from the edge of the end of the catapult arm, you're just going to attach it into the center of this little crevice we made here, to the insides, not to the tops, but the insides. And the reasoning for this hole is just so that the backside with the bomb can kind of rest in between here like that. But as you can see, it looks like it might break. So what I would suggest doing is placing a small block here and another one on here to act as a kind of a rest. This will ensure that uh, the bomb won't actually fall out if you're driving the catapult around, as well as just providing a bit of sturdiness to the center here so that it doesn't snap. Speaking of the center, you might actually want to brace it as well. Just brace as much as you can. It'll make it a lot better. And that's pretty much the design. This is a basic catapult in uh, Besiege. And I'll show you, it can shoot to about oh, where this bomb is right here. It'll hit the wall as well, but it doesn't shoot as far as you may think. Uh, to contract the springs, you hold L, and the archers shot the bomb there. 
So let's just shoot it a little bit faster. Yeah, it hits just below the wall. It doesn't shoot that far, but it'll get the job done in the earlier stages. And you can drive it around, as you can see here. It'll go through most of the terrain without a problem. It won't break down, smash through houses, and it'll still keep going. Now, I'm not sure if you can reload these. I'm, I've never tried. I don't think you can, so it's a one-time use. Just keep that in mind. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe, comment if you want. Uh, tutorials on Besiege, how to make more contraptions, and just comment and I'll see if I can make them work. Thanks for watching.